In the previous video we installed Visual Studio Code and configured it for use on Mac for C and C++ and let's finish it for Fortran. Fortran is not supported out of the box so we need an additional package system to install it which is called Homebrew. Google for Homebrew, click on Homebrew and you will see here the line that actually installs it so copy this and paste it into your terminal. This will install the homebrew system on the Mac, which does provide us with the brew command. And using brew install, we can then install packages. The package that we need is the GCC package. Brew install GCC. This will first download all the dependencies. And lastly, the compiler, the GCC and the GFortran compiler. We also need a few settings and extensions in Visual Studio Code for this to work. It's almost finished with the GCC. And now we should have the GFortran compiler available to us. The package that we're also going to need is Python 3. And once Python is installed, we can install the Fortran language server. In Visual Studio Code, we have the three installed extensions. Search for Fortran, and we're going to install three more. Modern Fortran, Fortran IntelliSense, and Fortran Breakpoints. These three are now installed. Let's reload the window to make sure everything takes effect. The changes in the project are that Fortran files end at F90. So the extension is different. We need to modify the content, but let's first adjust the make file. We need to use G Fortran. We need an additional step. The pre-processing step needs to be gfortran minus cpp. We don't need the specific C++ options. Also the non-virtual destructor is a C++ option. Fortran files, we're going to use the F90 extension. And we can leave the app name the same. The last step which we need in the terminal is that we actually need to use pip3 to install the Fortran language server. Let's do it system-wide using sudo. Then the fortls command should be available to us. So this has now set up Fortran on our Mac. We see that we now have the IntelliSense. We can quickly write a nice Fortran program that does nothing but print hello. And let's test whether it works the same as before. So we already configured code run for the Fortran files. It actually compiles the project calls the make file, compiles it, and runs it. So this seems to work fine. One thing to test would be, does it work with multiple files? This is a small example of multiple files, where there's a main file that actually calls another routine. And here you see the IntelliSense actually working. It detects what parameters are given to the function. You can right click, go to definition, and it goes exactly to the routine. So this will really help you out while you write code. The last thing to test would be whether the debugger actually works. So let's test that. Set a breakpoint. Run and debug. Choose GDB. We're going to need to set the executable again. Let's fix a small issue over here. Make sure it's compiled and start the LLDB. 
What you notice is that it does stop at the breakpoint, but it will not show the variables. So LLDB has limited support for Fortran. The debugging itself works, except inspection of variables is not possible yet. So these were the steps necessary to install Fortran. We now installed C, C++ and Fortran to work with Visual Studio Code. In the next videos we're going to do the same for Windows and then for Linux.